Alright, welcome to this video. Today I'll be talking about VS Code keyboard shortcuts that you should know about. So this video is useful for anyone who is just starting out with code or if you haven't had the chance to explore any of the useful keyboard shortcuts that are available. So number one keyboard shortcut that you must know is Command Shift P, which is to show the command palette. So this is the number one um, tip because here you can type in anything you need help with. For example, you want to delete something. Already we can see a couple of useful um, keyboard shortcuts. Command backspace to delete all the text on the left. Or if you need help with adding things, add cursor is one of them. So Command Shift P is very useful in this respect. Number two, I'll be talking about the basic keyboard shortcuts that you must know that will really help you to be faster, more comfortable, and more productive in your IDE. So the first one will be how to open up the terminal in your IDE. That will be Control on a Mac, Control tilde, which is the button beside the number one. And so here we can Command tilde to close and open the terminal very quickly and easily. The next one will be how do we create a new file. So new file, new, so we command press Command N. And then we have a new file in our current directory, which is great. And then we can go ahead and save that file if we want to keep it. And last but not least for the basic keyboard shortcuts that you must know is command slash, forward slash, which is to toggle a command. So we can comment the whole line or not, or even whole sections, we can comment out everything or uncomment. So for a start, it will be useful to know these three basic keyboard shortcuts. Next, number three, we'll be talking about lines. So how do we edit our lines more effectively? For example, how do we delete line or lines? One very useful sh keyboard shortcut I always use is Command-Shift-K. That would delete the whole line. And we can Command-Z to undo. And we can also delete the whole section if we don't want the whole paragraph or the whole block. We do the same thing, Command-Shift-K, and everything is gone. Other than deleting lines, we can also talk about moving lines up and down. So let's say you put the line, um, the print statement here, but maybe you want the print statement to go slightly lower, then that would be option down to move it down, option up to move it up. What if you want to duplicate that piece of line though? What if you want to print it multiple times or you want to have a line of code that runs multiple times? Then in addition to option up and down, you would press shift. So option shift up and down will copy your line of code down or up. So very simple. Number four, we have how do we insert cursors? So you might find sometimes you key the certain variable multiple times and you want to change the variable at one go. So one way to do this is to press option and click wherever you want to add a cursor. So I can add a cursor here and you can see that if I press backspace or type in some things, it will be applied to both locations. So this is very useful if you have very particular um, places where you want to add a cursor. If you just wanted to add the cursor above and below your line, then that would be option and up and down. But in this case, we want to add the command button. So option command up, we can go up and add many cursors up and down. But you can see that it doesn't add it exactly where you want to. So this might not be as useful as the option click to specify exactly where you want your cursors to be. And if you clicked it wrongly, you just option click the same place and it'll be gone. Perhaps a more efficient way to change a variable name at one go very easily would be the find and replace function. So you might know you might know there's a command F where you can find find certain things that you want in your code. But how, how do you do the find and replace? One simple way is to command F and then click on this toggle replace mode. And then you can replace your name with anything else. And click enter, and you apply to the first case. Press enter again, you apply to the next case, and again to the next case. But this is pretty slow if you're going to do it one by one. The fastest way would just be to press command enter. So command enter will change all of the instances of capital name to lowercase name. Just like that, command enter. An alternative to accessing the replace mode would be option command F and it will pop up right away. We can change it to name 
Command Enter to change everything at once. And there we have it. And undo to reset our changes. So that was number five. Number six would be how to review a file, an active file in your finder. So the command for this is Command K followed by R. So Command K, if you press Command K, first of all, you'll see at the bottom we have Command K was pressed, waiting for the second key. So the second key, if we do it again, the second key will be R. And you can see here is where our file hello.py is in our folder. So this is particularly useful if you're trying to move files from one directory to another or copy and paste files very easily as compared to using the sidebar in VS Code. Number seven would be how do we show the extensions uh, tab in VS Code. So that would be Command Shift X. You can see all the extensions that you have, have installed. So I think this is pretty useful because sometimes I'm installing Teams or maybe some other helpful extensions and just a very quick way, um, instead of looking at the icons on the left side and trying to figure out um, am I looking at the correct option, you can just really press Command Shift X without even looking at the left column. Following this, actually, one very um, useful um, and convenient keyboard shortcut is actually Command B. So Command B will be able to toggle your sidebar. So to toggle the sidebar on and off, you it will be Command B. But one thing you notice when you do Command B is that your code is jumping around and it's gonna be a bit hard for you to for your eyes to follow. And if you don't like that, again, if you go to Command Shift P, we can search for toggle the sidebar position. So the position now is on the left. If I want to toggle it, I'll toggle it and it will go to the right. And now when I do Command B, you can see any changes that I make, it doesn't affect my code. I can still see it at the same position. So I recently I've been switching to this um, format with my uh, sidebar on the right side. So really helpful this one. Number nine would be how do we activate the Zen mode. So if you're not sure what Zen mode is, Zen mode is basically a mode where you can view just your code alone with no distractions. That would be Command K and Z for Zen mode. And you can see we only have the code, no sidebar, no terminal, and Okay, if you do this for the first time, like me, you might be a bit confused. How do I get out of this? You can see there's no button to anything to click. So you might try pressing escape. Escape doesn't work. So the way to get out of this is to press escape twice. So escape, escape, and then we're back where we started. So Zen mode, command K, Z. Last but not least is a very simple but probably useful um, tool if you're trying to compare changes between two files or compare the similarities and differences that would be the split editor command, which is command backslash. So we saw command slash for toggling comments, command backslash will give us a split view. So we can, in our split view, we can see things side by side and open up a new file. And then we can see and view the changes or the differences close up without having to toggle between tabs. So that's it for the 10 VS Code keyboard shortcuts that you should know about. If you found this video useful, do share it with anyone who might be able to take advantage of them as well. Thanks for watching.